Hey there, welcome back. Now today I'm super excited to be having a look at this brand new e-paper display from Seed Studio. Now this device has just been released and Seed was kind enough to send me one to have a play with. This is not a sponsored video and the thoughts are totally my own. So this is a really great looking product and a lovely way to display content from Home Assistant on your bedside table. It's got a 7.5 inch e-ink display with an ESP32 C3 microprocessor. It's really energy efficient. They are saying that it could last up to three months on the sleep mode. Um, it's also well integrated with Home Assistant. They're going to give you a really good guide here on how you can set up your screens and dashboards. The resolution of the display is 800 by 480 pixels. It's got a 2000 milliamp hour battery and the size is 178 by 131 centimeters and 19 mils deep. So having a look at the device, you've got this beautifully clear screen. Currently, I've got it in the mode where it is sharing the dashboard from my home assistant. And as you can see, the device at the moment ships with a 3D printed case. Apparently, they will be updating this at some stage, but I actually really like the 3D printed case. They do give you the files to the case, so you can print it in whatever color you'd like, and you could also modify it. One of the suggestions I saw was to add some buttons so that you could interact with your content, which I think would be a super cool addition to this device. It has this little flip out stand at the back here, so you can stand it quite neatly on your the bedside table or whatever surface you like. On the underside, we have this switch. The switch is designed to turn the charging mode for the battery on or off. And then on the right hand side here, we have our USB-C power cable supply and also for flashing the device. Um, you've then got a boot and a reset button over there. I didn't find that I needed to use either of those during the setup process. So Seed Studio has built up quite a comprehensive guide on how to start off by creating basic words like your hello world and then some shapes and then some little icons and then you're going on to using the puppet add-on to actually display a screen from Home Assistant. So let's have a look at how that works. So the first example shows you how to print hello world on the screen. So first thing we'll do is copy this. We'll go along to Home Assistant. Now you need to have ESP Home Builder installed. I will leave a link in the description below showing how to do this. So once that's installed, you create a new device and we'll call this HA Demo. We'll go Next and we will skip the install step. Now you do need to select the ESP32 C3 chip. That's really important. And then we will go Skip again. Now we go into this HA demo and we edit this. We go down to the bottom here below Captive Portal and we now paste in the code that we just copied. We can now go Save. Now the next step is to plug the device, the e-paper device, directly into the Raspberry Pi running Home Assistant. I found this was the easiest way to do it. So now what we do is we go Install and we have it plugged in so we can click on that and click on that again and now it will start compiling the code and then it will upload that code to the device so it does take a little bit of time but once it's uploaded there we go we've got hello world on our screen next up we install this piece of code which will create some shapes on the screen so we just copy and paste this we go back to our same ESP Home device, we copy and we just paste this over the top, totally replacing the other code. Press install once again and make sure that it is connected to your Raspberry Pi. So having a look at this piece of code, you can see here that we're addressing it using the Lambda code and then we're just selecting a rectangle, rectangle of certain size and a circle of certain size or a filled rectangle or circle. So this results in three open shapes and three filled in shapes. 
The next step is that we need to go and adopt this device into Home Assistant. So you'll see there's a new device that is discovered and there it is HA Demo. So we go add, we go submit and it's now added it in. We'll go configure as well and we'll just tick these two and we will finish that. Next up we're going to go to settings, add-ons and now what we're going to do is we're going to search for an add-on called Puppet in the add-on store. So this Puppet is basically used to create a web page that will be specifically used to display on this device. So what we do is we install this add-on. Now this does take quite a long time. Mine took somewhere between five and 10 minutes. So just give it time to install. Now that it's installed, we need to go along to your account at the bottom here, which has got the name and then security, scroll right to the bottom and we need to create a token. And this token is going to be for Puppet. So we'll just call it Puppet. There we go. And we copy that token. Now we go back to that add-on that we've just downloaded. Now we go into configuration and we paste that token in over there and we save it. Once we've done that, we can start this. Now we go along to the logs in the Puppet add-on and we want to look for this over here where it is telling us the server to visit. So basically we copy this over here and then we can just paste this in over here and we can make sure that it's working. Now what you do need to change is this from 1000 to 1000 to 800 by 480 which is the layout for your screen. So just enter that. It'll take a little bit of time, but this should now display what it is going to show on your e-paper device. So there we go. We can see it's creating a little weather card, which I've created within Home Assistant. The next step is we want to copy the next piece of code. We're going to paste that code once again over the top of the old code. So we're going to take this URL that we've just tested out and we're going to go and paste this in over here. So this is your link. So we paste that in. We will now save this and we'll install once again. So there we go. Now we have our dashboard from Home Assistant displaying directly in our e-paper display. Now after running this for a day or so, I noticed that the Puppet add-on stopped updating those live screens to the e-paper display and I read through the information on that add-on and it clearly states that this is still in a prototype version. So let's hope that that gets sorted out in the near future. So do bear in mind that the e-paper display is also in a beta version. I really like the way that Seed is releasing these products and then getting feedback from the audience as they develop and grow. I really like the feeling of the e-paper display. There's something really calming about the way that it gives you information and that slow sort of refresh rate. So I'm really enjoying this product. I think there's an absolutely massive opportunity to see where these will go. I do like the idea of adding some buttons to the device. Be really cool to 3D print another um, case with some buttons and include this into the software so that you can give feedback to the um, system as well through this device. So I'd be really keen to get your feedback on this product, see what you think, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what else Seed is going to bring out. I'm really enjoying my close cooperation with this company and I look forward to seeing what they're going to produce in the future. Well, that's all for now. I hope you've enjoyed this honest review and please, if you have enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.